Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. We are going to get started with our app icon today. So let's do that. We're gonna go into our asset catalog and we can see the app icon here. There's a lot of different sizes when we click on it. And if I switch our right panel over here, we can see that it's set up for iPhone and iPad. I'm gonna keep it configured for both of those. We're not gonna do an Apple Watch. This is our app icon. So there's a bunch of different sizes we need. Thankfully, I have exported those. So let me go ahead and open up the, the image asset. So this is something that you can download if you go to the web page or the course notes. You can get all of these assets so that you can get started. And we're gonna first look at the icon. So I've got this beautiful icon that we can start with, and then I've got it exported for the different sizes. One of the things to keep in mind, any icon that you do needs to be in square shape, otherwise it gets rendered funky and you have weird artifacts in your actual app. So we're gonna just drag these assets over into your storyboard. One of the quick things you can do in Finder that a lot of people don't know is that you can do quick look and that's using the space bar. So a lot of times when I'm looking at different files, I press space bar and I can preview what the different sizes look like. So that is our icon. Let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to probably move this over to the left side and I don't know if this view will be easier, but maybe we'll check it out. I'm gonna have to arrange this by name. So hopefully everything sort of stays organized. And then in Xcode, we are going to sort of rearrange things so that we can see all of these assets. I'm gonna hide some panels with the buttons on the top right corner. So we don't need to see those panels necessarily. I'll keep the, the right side open because that one actually is kind of useful in this screen. And so now what we're gonna do is I'm in the iPad assets. I'm just gonna add these. We're not gonna actually cover the iPad, but it'll give you a good start and you'll just have the assets that you need if you want to try and get this to build on your iPad. All right, so I'm gonna drag over, and I think we have to do this one at a time. It used to work where you could drag all of them over and it would automatically figure it out. I haven't found a way to do that in the, the latest. So now we have to match up the sizes. So what I have right now is a 1X asset. There's no at 2X on it. And so that goes right here. Here we can see a, at 2X. So this is gonna go and match this box. So you're just gonna drag that over and then we're gonna keep on doing this. The iPad Pro has a bigger screen. So it uses a bigger icon. And then we've got to find our notifications. So this is the iPad notification. This is the 2X. Then we can find the small, which is gonna be our 40 point, which is over here. So we're just gonna match all of these up. It's a little bit tedious. And then this icon small that I have here is for the settings, I believe. All right, so we've got the iPad. Let's go back. So I'm just gonna go up a directory and let's go into the iPhone. We've got these icons to set up. So I've got the 62X. We're gonna find that right here. 3X notification it goes up top, 3X. And I'm just gonna keep matching these things. All right, so I've set up all those icons. The last one is for the App Store and you can just drag this over. There is another sort of legacy thing that's the iTunes artwork. I'm not gonna cover that in this video because it's not really needed for the App Store anymore or for beta testing. That was more for ad hoc deployment. So don't worry about that. These are all the icons that you need to get started for iPhone and iPad. So now let's test this out. If we go ahead and launch the app, we should see the app installs. We see our label. If we go to the home screen, we see our new tip calculator. And that is how you design your app icon. So that's super exciting. We now have something that looks polished from the start. In the next video lesson, I'm gonna go over how to add the rest of the art assets that we're gonna need for this app so that we can drag them into the interface designer. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. 
Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.